Benton County crossed the Jackson County line Friday night for a date with their rival, the Wilson Golden Rockets. So now I'm joined by Benton County reporter Matt Stevens. Matt, did, how did the Vikings fare on the Golden Rockets senior night? Well, Sean, needless to say, Vinton County spoiled senior night for Wellston on Friday night with a 79-56 victory. The Vikings pushed the ball on offense and played the most well-rounded basketball of their season. But most importantly, after this victory, the Vikings have clinched a share of the TVC crown. There was only one negative that stood out for the Vikings Friday <coughs> night, and that was the injury of Bo McIntyre. McIntyre left the game in the second quarter after an apparent leg injury that is reportedly a sprain. The, he is currently day-to-day, -day, according to Coach Matt Combs. On the flip side, there were many positives for the Vikings. Vinton County pushed the ball full court on almost every possession, and their defense forced countless Golden Rocket turnovers. Vinton County had numerous second-chance points courtesy of their ability to grab offensive rebounds and box out every time the ball hit the cylinder. The Vikings will be looking to get McIntyre healthy, but even without him, they will be A-OK -okay for tournament play. So the Vinton County Lady Vikings have had a tough start to the postseason, but the name of the game has survived in advance, and the Lady Vikings did just that. It wasn't pretty, Sean, but it was a 54-47 victory Thursday night, and the Lady Vikings looked good from the beginning, opening with a 6-0 run. However, it was short-lived as Megs answered with a 14-0 run of their own. Benton County struggled to stir up any offense in the first half, shooting 36% from the field. The Lady Vikings could not drive the lane against the Megs 3-2 zone, and they could not manage to get anything going from behind the arc, finishing just 10% from deep on the evening. The second half, the girls were wholeheartedly reborn. Benton County was able to attack the zone and shot 62% from the field in the second half. However, Vinton County will have a tough test in the second round in a matchup with Sheridan. The Lady Generals have a senior center in Katrina Shervant, who stands at 6'4". For the Lady Vikings to move on once more in the postseason, they will need to double-team Shervant, which they will likely do. Also, the Vikings will surely live and die by the three, Sean. Yeah, we'll see if they can take that message that you're sending them, and they, if they can get that ball in the hoop, we'll see how well they can do in the postseason. Thanks, Matt. Now, before we 